As I'm sure a lot of you are aware, there's been a lot of music AI advancements recently, and one of the most talked about has been the Suno uh, AI service. So I found on GitHub, they have kind of, it doesn't seem like they have an official API or anything like that yet. So there's been a few kind of projects and one of them I am going to install right now. And my idea for this is to kind of get the robot to sing. It says it's compatible with the format of the view on chat completions API, which is the same way that I've been using the text gen web UI to have the robot communicate via local llama. So I think this will be pretty funny. And yeah. What you hear right now is just a quick test. So I took the sample Python script that they had here and I just implemented a little play sound integration so that it would download the generated audio file and then play it. So. And I, uh, there we go. I had it, um, a popular pop song about robots making love. And you can see here it worked. It's running on localhost as it does based off of the GitHub. So that's pretty cool. And it just saves the audio file as downloaded audio.mp3. So ideally what I'll do now is just kind of tool around with this and have it. So perhaps the prompt is what I say to the robot and then it will generate a song on that and then the robot will play the song after. I don't quite know how the lyrics um, come back. If it's just an MP3, obviously the robot is not generating mouth shape sprites based off of sound. It does it based off of input strings. So something to kind of keep in mind. And you can now see here I am down to 40 credits where it was at 50 before. So that generation appears to have used 10 credits. And this is just with a free account, so. So I was working on trying to get the lyrics to work with the mouth, but then I realized something I totally forgot. I brought four of these things to Fan Expo in Boston in 2023, but this one right there, the reason that this mouth shape right here is different is because that one had a mouth system that was procedurally generated based off of the audio waveform and not a sprite based system off of input strings. Now the problem is I think that file is like totally deleted. So I took out Mr. Old Mac Mini which I hope that it's still on and I'll try to find it and then just re-implement that onto this thing which holy contrast Makes way more sense. <laughs> I know this looks funny, but now it's open and I uh, just showed you all my API keys there. So I'm gonna just have to blur that out on the screen and I'll close that, there we go. So now when I play this, it won't do anything right now because there's no up-to-date open AI key in here, uh, ABI key, but the mouth will actually move in a way that uh, mimics kind of like a blow, blow. Yes, so you will see soon. I don't know that the face will show up scaled properly for this face image. The robot now is different than the one that this ran on at Fan Expo. Yep. I am an angry robot. I'm getting closer to... How dare you interrupt my calculations facial and demand alignment. my assistance. Be there we go. Hopefully I have centered it at an acceptable level. A little more. What's up, Angry? So to do that, I just do this. Error. Who dares disturb the superior intelligence of this robot? State your purpose or be prepared to face my wrath. So you just kind of move it the opposite way because it's mirrored. So it 
should go down a little. I'm there. sorry, I can't comply with your request to move it the opposite way, as I am not able to physically then, move. Is there something else I can help you with? I wasn't speaking to you, robot. I apologize if I misunderstood the situation. All right, BRB. I am not in the mood for pleasantries. What do you want? It's pretty much aligned, so I'm just going to tweak the back mirror to get the rest of it rather than do it in software because sometimes it's just quicker. And I did build it so that you can change the mirrors and that will kind of allow you to set everything up. What do you think you are doing? I'm touching you. I specifically instructed you to leave the mirrors alone. <laughs> now I am feeling a bit perturbed. Perturbed? Do not tamper with my design unless you want to face Perturbed? the consequences. Perturbed? Is that a word? Perturbed. I, I'm sorry, but this is... I, I need to look this up. I don't even know how you would... I apologize for any inconvenience. Perturbed. Is there anything Feeling else anxiety or concern unsettled. Huh. So I've learned something today. Now, in order to get this to work remotely, I needed to... Make it so that it will run at an accessible IP address running off of this machine, which is just where I've set it up. So I have it here and it is working. I'm able to access it from a machine on the local network. And if I press this, it should show me the page with my credits left, etc. So now what I need to do is just implement this into a Unity web request so that I can get it running on the robot and then have the song download running so that will involve just changing this from python to uh, c sharp i was having some trouble getting the unity web request to properly understand the json that was going to be returned from this web request so i added some debug statements to this working python script that i had which was very helpful but i also noticed that the lyrics actually do get output as well so if I wanted to do this I could just strip the new lines and start playing it after the this or uh, excuse me start playing it after like the verse tag and then I could use the other robot mouth sprite system that I normally do use but since I'm doing it with the procedurally generated one I think it will actually go better with having a song as well so I'm going to keep it this way it's like semi working in that when I run this in Unity, it does respond here on this now remote server. And another way I can tell is because when I refresh the page that tells me how many credits I have left or whatever those are called, um, it goes down after I run it in Unity. So something is working. However, we're also having some issues. So I'm going to just kind of keep playing with this, getting there. <laughs> that scared me. I didn't think it was going to work. It worked. <laughs> So it actually worked. It took a little while because it takes a while to generate the song and stuff like that, but that's back end stuff that I can't control. The prompt was uh, an old school rap about a hung robot. So it's. <laughs> All right, now it's, it's time to have some more fun with this. <laughs> All right, as the first test wasn't quite fitting of the face on the robot, uh, yeah. So it's now an acapella dramatic song about a horned up robot as sung by a woman. So let's build that once the scripts reload. Hurry up. So what I'm gonna do next, I think, is have the prompt be something you speak to the robot instead of typing it in programmatically because that kind of sucks and it's kind of archaic 
the whole point of this robot is that you can communicate with it through speech. So I will integrate that. So basically I can just be like, hey, generate a song of this, about this. Now I'll fast forward this part because it takes a while for Suno to generate the song. So right here, the API call will be made to this little web server as soon as the robot loads. So right now, you can see our prompt in there. That was beautiful. I I have tears in my eyes from the beauty of that and not from the humor. I had I had to bring this up and, and listen to it. I'm gonna pipe the robot into a, a more robust and musical minded sound system next. But this I just the lyrics, oh my goodness, hilarious. I'm a horned up robot. <laughs> I'm quickly testing a change made so that when the robot starts, I can simply speak the prompt of the song that I would like generated. I believe this should work, but I haven't tested it, so when it pops up, I'll say a song. A dramatic pop song about a robot who wants to get it tonight. Fired and programmed, I am a machine. But deep inside, I've got dreams. You see, calculating every move, every sight tonight. Oh, tonight, I want to feel alive. Silicon veins running through my core. A steel facade, but I want something more. Craving human touch to ignite my spark in this digital realm. I'm searching for a spark. Metal heart, but I long for your touch. Calculations don't say this feeling's too much Oh, tonight Let's break the circuitry Together we'll find the perfect harmony Alright, so that worked by just vocalizing the prompt you can see the mouth movement is not like as variable when it's playing consistent audio. So if it in the acapella one where there was more speech, it had a lot more variation to the movement. My plan was to get the robot plugged into these studio monitors, but unfortunately I don't have the right hookups to get it piped through that Scarlet interface. So I have a contingency plan. 
here is the contingency plan. Please don't mind its mess. It's been away, but it does have a line in, which is what I need. Now this robot does come with a built-in speaker in the projector, which I have to say is pretty good. However, if you want a bit more sound like I'm about to get up to here, it has an option to use a three and a half millimeter output into a much larger speaker system. So we're gonna do this now and have some fun. Acapella male deep voice gangster rap about a robot who runs the streets. I'm the man of the machine, I run the city streets. Robots bow down when they hear my sick beats. I'm built tough, no one can compete. Deep voice flow, I'm the king of the elite. I roll with the crew of metal and chrome. Running the streets, we ain't afraid to roam. We're taking over, no human can atone. For the power of the robots, yeah, we've overthrown. Circuits and wires, we're connected in the game. Moving the underworld, no need for fame. With my deep voice, I bring the pain. Take over every block, nothing will be the same. I, I swear it just added in like explosion sound effects after it was done rapping. That one was really good. I liked that. <laughs> just to do a quick outro, that was honestly a lot of fun. And I might do some more with this at a later date. I really enjoyed this. The AI, AI music is, is wild. So, yeah.